Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new predictions video. Today I've got my Royal Rumble 2017 predictions. Now, I'm a bit late doing this, I know probably everybody's done this already, but at least now I know the full card. Well, I hope we know the full card, uh, but considering the last episode of Raw has gone and Smackdown is tonight and then Royal Rumble, then yeah, I am going to do my predictions now. Before I start off, I don't understand why... Um, the Raw Women's Champions gets defended, the tag, the Raw Tag Team Champions get defended, uh, Sasha Banks vs Nia Jax, that's a Raw match, um, the Cruiserweights, that's a Raw match, the Universal Title match, that's a Raw match, so, yeah, the, the Styles, the, 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 the WWE Champion match, that's SmackDown, and that is the only SmackDown match. It isn't it, apart from, obviously, the Royal Rumble match, but, that seems a little bit biased to me, I don't really understand why, I think that's not unfair. I think if the Raw Women's Championship is defended, then the um, SmackDown one should. I know maybe there's not time to do everything in a pay-per-view, but I uh, I disagree with that. But anyway, let's get into these predictions. So, the first match that I'm going to be doing is Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. Um, it's on the kickoff show, which um, kind of like gets rid of all my interest towards it. I'm going to be watching it. Obviously, I'm watching the whole Raw Rumble. Raw Rumble is my favourite pay-per-view, if you guys didn't know. Um, and yeah, if you guys want me to like rank my favorite kind of pay-per-views in order, um, I'll do like the you know the, the, the pay-per-views like the main pay-per-views. I'll add, I'll put in Elimination Chamber in there. I'll put you know those kind of matches because those pay-per-views. Because if I don't put a roadblock in there, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, or over the limit or payback. But anyway, Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax on the kickoff. Um, I like Nia Jax. I think Nia Jax is, you know, she's decent. I think her promo skills aren't terrible. Um, lots of people saying she's the Roman Reigns of the women's division. I would disagree. I think she's not half bad. I think, um, I think, you know, I think she needs improving, which is f definite. But I don't think she's terrible. And uh, and I think, yeah, I think she, I think she can be good, definitely. Um, and it's first uh, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks always puts on a good match. Uh, Sasha Banks may be a little bit overrated, in my opinion, for a couple of things. But overall, uh, Sasha Banks. Uh, is a tremendous athlete, athlete and always puts on really good matches. Gives it a hundred percent, hundred and ten percent, even. And uh, yeah, I um, I see Nia Jax going over in this definitely. Um, well, I say definitely. It could go any way. It could go both ways. It's just I think Nia Jax needs it a little bit more right now, just because Sasha Banks has had a big push and a huge feud over the women's championship and. It wouldn't hurt Sasha Banks to have a loss right now because she's not really doing much anyway, and I think Nia Jax needs to go on the up. Because let's say Sasha Banks wins, uh, and and we'll get onto the onto the Raw uh, match now. But it's gonna Sasha Banks is gonna go straight into the you know. I will talk about more in a bit why it could go both ways, but I'm gonna go with Nia Jax for this. Um, then it's also on the kickoff, uh, which is the Raw Tag Team Champions Cesaro and Sheamus versus Lou Gerson and Carl Anderson. Um, I see Cesaro and Sheamus 100%. I don't think they're going to drop the belts right now. That is 100% for me, at least. Um, I see it being a good, a decent match. I really see Sheamus and uh, especially Cesaro having a lot of good spots in that match. And uh, yeah, I think overall that should be a good match. The WWE Cruiserweight Championship um, is on the line of Rich Swan versus Neville. Um, Neville's going to win it. Yeah, Neville. Neville's definitely going to win it. Well, yeah. Again, that's all you know. My predictions. Because there are my predictions, but. For me, there's no doubt in my mind that Neville will win the belt. Uh, he deserves it. He's great, the best right now, and uh, and yeah, not not overly um, excited for this match. I'm not like crazy for it, but uh, you know, it will be on, and I'll watch it, and I'll enjoy it. Hopefully, uh, the Raw Women's Championship, Charlotte Flair. I don't know why they're calling her Charlotte Flair now. Just used to be Charlotte. Whatever, Charlotte versus Bailey. Now this is goes back to the Sasha Banks thing. Okay, Charlotte has now won. I think every pay-per-view match she is defending that title. She has not lost a pay-per-view where she's had the title, which is I think she's lost one pay-per-view match, like one, and I think it was in a tag team match. But um, she she's great, um, and I I think Charlotte should definitely keep it for now. The thing is, if Sasha Banks go, uh, goes over on Nia Jax and 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 um, Charlotte wins, that's just they're, they're just gonna have another feud, aren't they? Because surely after this feud, Sasha should be you know if Sasha wins, then she should you know get in the main event picture. And then, and then maybe you know. So I think Nia Jax should win. I think we should see a, uh, a Charlotte Nia Jax um, feud, but not a long feud. Maybe just a month, one pay per view done, dusted, and then 
We also need to see a Bailey Sasha. So while that's going on, while the Nia Charlotte, we can also see Bailey Sasha. Who knows, maybe one of them can turn heel or something like that. But this video is not how you know W should, should book something like in a month or two. This is just the Royal Rumble predictions, but it could really go any way as well. I see Charlotte winning. I don't see a streak getting beaten right now. I do like Bailey, but uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think it would be the right move right now to put the belt on her. If you want to do it at WrestleMania, go ahead, make Bailey win at WrestleMania, make it a feel good moment when like Daniel Bryan won or something. But right now, Bailey should lose the match. Um, next, we move on to the WWE Universal Champion, Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns in a no, in a no disqualification match which has been added. I don't think it was a no disqualification match uh, before. And where Chris Jericho is suspended above the ring in a shark cage. I see, oh, this, this is a tough one. Um, it's, it, it is a really tough one. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Roman Reigns to lose this match, which means I think Kevin Owens will retain the belt. I think it's a little bit too early to make Kevin Owens drop the belt, um, and I think I think it's just too predictable having him drop the United States Championship and then just have win the Universal Championship back. But it's one of those matches where it's it could really go anyway. I'm not confident with what I'm saying, but um, my gut is telling me that Kevin Owens will manage to retain with like in like some way, and Chris Jericho will get involved in the shark cage. Like even if he's in the shark cage, he will find a way to do something and get involved. I don't know what it's going to be, but I think Kevin Owens will win that match. Now we move on to my most anticipated like singles match, like apart from the Raw Rumble match itself. Uh, which is uh, AJ Styles versus John Cena. I am looking so forward to this match. Um, like, really, I'm looking forward to this match so much. Now, you guys know how much I love AJ Styles uh, in his TNA days. He, I always liked him. Um, he's like, like top three wrestlers of all time. And uh, yeah, like seriously, AJ Styles is such a good wrestler. And it would be, it, it, in a kind of way, it's sad that he might, you know, that I'm going to say this, but I think it's John Cena's time. I think John Cena needs to equalise Ric Flair's record now. I think, you know, John Cena still needs to win two more times if he wants to be Ric Flair's record. And I still think that the WWE want that to happen. And if, they're gonna, if they want that to happen, they need to get a move on with it. And I think now it's time. Uh, AJ Styles has won jo over John Cena a couple times now. I think John Cena will win this match. I strongly believe he'll win this match. And I actually want him to win this match. Because as I said, I think his time needs to, it needs to be now. He needs to win it now. And uh, and hopefully face the Undertaker, but even though I mean that's probably not going to happen now. But yeah, AJ Styles versus John Cena. I'm going John Cena, um, but I would definitely not be upset if AJ Styles retained. The 2017 Royal Rumble match, the match that everybody is literally looking forward to. I don't know one person who's a fan of the WWE, who's a fan of wrestling, who doesn't want like who is not looking forward to this Royal Rumble match. So it is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and name just a couple wrestlers, for example, who are on the, um, the, the what's it called, the page, the, like, a banner, a banner that's, like, on the, on the WWE thing with all the wrestlers on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and name those, because I think, obviously, the winner will be one of those. So, Chris Jericho, Dolph Ziggler, Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, Baron Corbin, Sami Zayn, Braun Strowman, Dean Ambrose, Goldberg, Barack Lesnar. Or the Undertaker. So I, I, you know, it will be one of those. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm very confident it'll be one of those. Um, I am gonna go, and I've been going for this for a while now. I strongly believe since he announced he was gonna be in the Royal Rumble match, that the Dead Man, the Phenom, the Undertaker will win the match. All right, I'm calling it right now. If not, The Undertaker, a surprise return, like Finn Balor, even though lots of people are telling me it won't be Finn Balor, I don't know, probably not if you guys are all telling me, maybe you guys, didn't, maybe it's a fact that he won't. Undertaker, Finn Balor, or Chris Jericho. One of those, my top pick is The Dead Man, The Undertaker, and those are my 2017 Royal Rumble predictions. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, make sure you guys tell me, tell me what you think about my predictions. Are my predictions okay? Are my predictions terrible? And I'll see you guys in the next video. So then, peace out and take.